on that rock. Is it a hot rock? Turn the pin corner thingy off. Something in there, I just can't get it. Why don't you move that rock, Tony? This big one? I don't want to move the rock. Oh, okay. It's too big. Is it? <laughs> Maybe. I just from the corner? That. Just roll it down the hill? 26, 17, there's something right in there somewhere. I gotta figure this out. Leave me alone. Okay. Together. <laughs> or we could just turn it off, edit it. <laughs> Make it look better. Be like people's comments in the video I can see now. Why does he just walk around in circles? <laughs> Why do you spend 20 minutes beeping at it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I know it's in this area. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Okay, I've deduced that something right here is beeping. Well, you don't know how to do it either, so don't give I me any shit. I did it faster than you did. Huh? Huh? Yeah, after I explained it to you. Somebody's tough. Think I'd miss this? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, you're doing good, Tony. There you go. <laughs> That's it, we like that. That gets me good views. Oh, there it is! Look at that. What is that? That's an old That's something can, an huh? Old can. We It'll might be even cold. be. A, I like. I get excited with cans because it means you could be near like a refuse pile or something, and those are fun to dig through. You'll pile? find refuse garbage pile. So you'll find Prince Albert in the can, still perfect with the paint on it and everything, and they're pretty cool. Like I, I've always, when I was in Elk City, I always had a couple on the shelves and stuff, and different things. They're cool. They're collectible for sure. They're down in the hole, got a good number, 30s, which could be a coin. We'll see what happens, what they find. Got to move that big ass rock out of the way because there's a good signal. He's pulled a couple nails out, but Adventure Steve is really adventuring. <laughs> there he goes. He's moving that big rock. Once he gets that big rock out of the way, he's going to find a nice cache of gold. That's what we're hoping for. Look, he's a rock hucker. Look at that. Now we're in. Now we got it. There he goes. Going back into the hole. Well, we persevered and uh, we found five nails and a bullet. It was awesome. But that's what you got to do. Next time, maybe treasure. Okay. <laughs> hey, so we're back in camp and we laid out all our good finds from the treasure hunting on this stump. You got all sorts of stuff here you can see. There's the one piece right there. You see that bullet casing? You notice how the end is crimped on it? You see that? It's got a crimped end. Well, let me tell you a little secret. Back in the day, the Chinese and the miners in the late 1800s, early 1900s, used to put their gold dust, and it was known that they would put their gold dust in there because they didn't have those little glass vials like modern day, a lot of them. So they'd use an old bullet casing just like that, put their gold in it, little nuggets, flakes, and then crush and crimp the end, just like what we found out there. Look at that. It's got a crushed crimped end and it's definitely heavy. You can feel it. It's like got some She's weight to it. She's running off with the goal getter, Wanagi! <laughs> so anyways, but you never know. So we're gonna have to uncrimp that later and we're gonna check it out, but. So Tony's got the shell and he's starting to work it open. And he's got a little paper bowl. 
and he's going to open it up the end and we're going to see if there's gold in it because like i said before sometimes the miners would crimp the ends put their gold dust in it and crimp the ends and then it would be filled with gold dust it was kind of heavy it seemed like it was really heavy compared to a normal shell so we don't know maybe tap it or i mean with some metal with the metal tap it it feels just like mud just in there compacted mud huh? oh there you go some nice bits of sand oh look at that is that is it sand yeah hmm. just sand everything? don't, don't drop our out of there Nothing no there's more sand in there. in there get it all out you never know it might be right at the bottom maybe you could use one of these nails we found yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah do that it. one right there would work fetch yeah. it out of there just don't cut yourself Sand, huh? Well, that's what they do it down. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a better video if it was gold. I know, right? All there was. Just well, sand. that's all there was, folks. No gold, but maybe next time. But it was exciting, just like buying a lottery ticket and not scratching it off for a week. You think you might be a winner, and that's all you get. But uh, hey, kind of cool. First time metal detecting, found some cool finds. Nothing worth a lot of money, but some treasures, some antiquities. That's from the 1900s or late 1800s. Probably some of the other stuff. That maybe too from the late 18. Some like bullet fragment stuff. 22 shell, never fired. You never know. I don't know. All right, well, maybe next time. Treasure. Oh. <sighs>